My first destination after graduation was London, where I uh, completed uh, two years master's program at Regents College. Um, so while I was at AUBG, I did a double major, business and history, and um, I decided out of these two to continue with uh, my business studies. So I spent about two years in London, and uh, after that I moved to Dubai, where I spent approximately three years working for, first I worked for a small consulting firm and then uh, I moved to the local logistics center of Mercedes. Uh, so I've been working in the automotive business for about three years. And uh, after Dubai, I moved to, to the United States. I went to Boston and I completed uh, an MBA degree at Harvard University. And, um, after, after that, uh, I felt like uh, going back to Europe, so uh, basically the first uh, country after the US uh, where I moved to was Russia. I lived in Moscow for almost three years and being a consultant, most of the time I was spent outside of Moscow and outside of Russia, but still I was based in uh, Moscow. And finally I returned to Bulgaria, more or less. 10 years after graduation from uh, AUBG, so I came back at the end of 2009. Mm, the first four years after returning to Bulgaria, um, I worked for the government. Uh, I worked for the Bulgarian Investment Agency, which is perhaps the, the most ungovernment government agency and one of the smallest, but uh, at the same time one of the most interesting government institutions. Uh, my job there was to help uh, the government attract uh, international companies to Bulgaria. Uh, of course this was probably the worst time ever to work for attracting investments because it coincided with the beginning of the financial crisis. So uh, working at uh, multinationals and convincing them to relocate to Bulgaria wasn't exactly very easy but uh, Nevertheless, the job was really interesting and uh, I spent about four years working for the government. And the last couple of years I have been working for a small um, uh, investment company, a private equity firm from uh, the Middle East, which has uh, recently started investing in Bulgaria and the region. So uh, my job is to try to make them more interested in our part of the world and to um, help them or to help Bulgaria to attract more international investment. My current job is interesting in the sense that I see it as a direct continuation of the previous two jobs I've had. So uh, as a management consultant, this is what I did when I was in Moscow, my job was to work with large companies and to try to analyze what they do, their businesses. So we've been involved in all kinds of companies from large breweries to telecom companies and to car manufacturers. And uh, my job and the job of the whole team was to try to analyze what's going well, what's going bad, how to improve things that are not going too well and so forth. And then my job in the government uh, here was to work with international companies to try to convince them that Bulgaria is the right place for them to do their business and uh, that the country has many advantages 
and basically to try to find uh, to connect the dots between what we have here and what investors need. So my current job is more or less a function of these two because right now on one hand I am working with investors and trying to find interesting areas for them to put their money in and at the same time uh, I am working as a consultant for the companies which uh, the investors have already um, started working with. So I'm trying to help them to identify what areas of their business are going well, what need further improvement, how to make things better and so forth. It's quite a lot of them. Well, as a former consultant, I'll try to break down the question into, <laughs> into other questions. Uh, from a personal point of view, I would say that AUBG helped me tremendously because this was the first time in my life when uh, First of all, the first time when I lived on my own and uh, this helped me, of course, to, to grow up, to become more mature. Uh, so in that sense, uh, living outside of uh, my hometown and outside of my family has been quite useful because for the next 10 or 15 years I've been living alone, so uh, this was quite important. Also, the environment in AUBG was really really helpful and really important because this was more or less the first time in my life when uh, I lived in a multinational community where you have people from different countries, different interests, different people in general. So uh, I guess I was lucky to some sense because before I came to ABG I also I studied at the American College of Sofia so again it was an uh, environment where you have uh, international students and classes are taught in English, but still AOBG was, I guess, much bigger for me, bigger immersion into this multinational culture. And I would say that ever since, even when I returned to Bulgaria eventually, I've been surrounded by people who come from uh, different countries, speak different languages, so it's very useful to get used to this uh, kind of environment. And then from a professional point of view, of course there is no need to explain that classes at AUBG has been very helpful and that I learned a lot, so I guess this goes without saying and it probably applies to other students as well. Uh, but uh, still for me the important thing is that ever since I graduated most of the jobs I've had have been related to either analyzing problems and trying to break down complex things into simpler ones and to try to present some ideas in a way which is relatively concise and easy to understand. And AUBG was very helpful in that sense because, uh, of course, there has been a lot of writing while I was at AUBG, lots of, uh, uh, lots of papers, lots of research and all those, and not so much the concrete things that you learn out of the courses, but rather these skills to be able to, to write and to talk about things that you have analyzed, uh, these have been very helpful for my career ever since I graduated. Finally, I, I find this question very hard to answer because just like challenges, I guess for every person life is full of all kinds of different problems and accomplishments, I mean challenges and accomplishments, and then identifying the biggest ones out of them is somewhat difficult. Of course, I am very happy that I managed to work in uh, some of the biggest companies in the world and also, of course, for getting to study in uh, some of the best universities out there. At the same time, uh, for me it was strange that whenever I got to one of these accomplishments, then suddenly you see something else coming up on the horizon, so it's always hard to say which is big and which is not. For example, when I, was, when I returned to Bulgaria, initially I started working for the government with the idea that, in a sense, that it's a step down from what I have been doing before, because uh, most of my education has been around, uh, it has been focused on large multinational companies, at the same time, I discovered that working for the government here presents both many challenges and many opportunities. And we managed to complete the biggest uh, campaign advertising Bulgaria in some of the biggest uh, 
business media out there. So we put advertisements in The Economist, in Financial Times, Wall Street Journal, Bloomberg. So some of those magazines that I read while I was a student at AUBG, so I never thought that we'll be able to advertise Bulgaria in them. Uh, and pretty much in any job that I have held, uh, there have been things that I've been quite proud of. But it's very difficult to identify a couple of them. Well, it is one of the stories that I have is that when I returned to Bulgaria in 2009, the first, uh, the first professional meeting I had when I started at the investment agency was uh, with the board of the American Chamber of Commerce here, which is an institution which basically unites the large uh, American and multinational companies in Bulgaria. And the board of AmCham at that point consisted of maybe 10 or 12 people and out of those, either four or five were AUBG graduates. And I found this very interesting because when I graduated, I was part of the, I believe, seventh uh, class uh, after AUBG's uh, creation. So by the time I graduated myself, there wasn't so much of a track record of people who have been uh, doing well professionally. And then I've been outside of Bulgaria for quite a few years. So when I returned and I said that uh, more or less half of the board of AmCham consists of uh, former classmates and uh, AUBG alumni. I was really impressed. So, uh, and until this day, purely professionally, the people I meet, many of them are AUBG grads. Even people I don't know, when we start talking, it turns out that they have graduated at some point from AUBG. And then personally, of course, I think that this applies to any AUBG graduate out there. Most of the people that uh, you keep close ties with after graduation are former AOBG classmates. In my case, uh, well, I'm lucky that I'm the best man of uh, two of the two of my closest friends at AOBG. Also, I'm the godfather of my uh, Hilltop classmate. So, if any of them are watching, my regards to all of them. One advice I can give when it comes to financing is that many people, even this advice is probably not so much for current students as for people who are planning whether to study at AUBG or not. And in many cases, uh, people believe that education outside, especially in the, I mean, in the European Union, is, comes for free, which is true. At the same time, people tend to disregard the cost of living and in general the cost of being in another country. So in many cases it turns out that on paper it is cheaper to go to Germany or France or wherever. Uh, at the same time, at the end of your studies when you draw the line, it turns out that uh, education in Bulgaria and especially at AOBG wouldn't have cost as much as other places where people go. But in any case it is something that is worth doing. Uh, <laughs> This probably goes without any questions because uh, education is one of the most important things that help you shape your life in the future and uh, therefore saving on education sounds like a tempting thing to do when uh, you are young and especially when you don't have uh, sufficient funds but at the same time the long-term implications are quite important. Well, I guess it depends on uh, what their experience has been so far because uh, people who have just graduated from AUBG, if I could give an advice or two, probably the first advice would be to not to go with the crowd because uh, at least for me I found that, that at several times in my life I have taken decisions on what to do, where to where to apply for work or those kinds of things based on what people around me are doing. And uh, it has not always been the smartest thing to do. I mean, it's, I guess it's easier to see that half of your friends have gone into banking and then to say, I want to be a banker myself. But still, it's quite important to try to find out before you do something like that, whether this is something you would like or not. Um, so yeah, the first advice will be basically to follow more your uh, instincts or gut feelings rather than 
to go with the people around you. And then the other advice would be uh, to, to be patient, but not to be too patient. So what I mean is, uh, again, everybody, I mean, AOBG people are a competitive bunch, so pretty much everybody is measuring his success or her against other people around them. And many people tend to, to, to get upset because other people have uh, got better job offers or landed more prestigious jobs or whatever, something like that. Uh, so I would say that probably spending, getting upset about those things all the time is definitely not worth it because no matter what you're doing, there is always someone who is doing better than you. At the same time, being too complacent and being too patient is also not a good thing because I have seen for the last, what, 15 or 16 years since graduation, uh, I have seen many people who uh, get stuck at one place and then they don't really like what they're doing. At the same time, they always find an excuse to, to stay there for another months or years or so. I mean, it's mostly professional, of course, but I guess it applies to all other aspects of life as well. So it's a good thing not to take rash decisions and not to get too emotional. But at the same time, if you get stuck at some place and you feel like this is not your place, it's a good idea to move on sooner rather than later. I would say, if I have to put it in a sentence, it will become to AOBG. That's for sure. Otherwise, if you have to expand it a little bit, uh, I would say that AUBG is one of the best universities. I mean, I have been to three universities by now, and uh, I would say that AUBG is just as, as good as any of the other places that I have studied. The quality of the education is excellent, and even nowadays I still have quite a few friends who have graduated recently, and from what I have seen, the quality of education is actually going up. Uh, so, absolutely, I mean, if I could be applying for college once again, I would definitely go back to AOG. I'm meeting alumni quite a lot. I would say that I don't remember the exact numbers, but I think that roughly 50% of the OBG graduates have uh, ended up living or working in Sofia. I suppose the other half is probably outside of the country, but that's a different story. So I'm meeting OBG grads quite a lot. Of course, people who are working in the sphere of finance, investments, consulting, so definitely should get in touch, but we are maintaining, even now we are keeping in touch with most of them. Uh, so, yes, and if anyone has an interesting project which uh, is in need either of uh, financing or uh, needs some extra support, uh, definitely I'll be happy to get in touch and to talk. One thing that I am quite impressed by the way is uh, how many startups and how many successful companies AUBGers have, uh, have done. I myself am not an entrepreneur and at the same time I'm very impressed by people who managed to build a company from a scratch. And uh, even here in Bulgaria you see quite a, quite a few examples of uh, AUBG alumni who have uh, started something and then brought it up to a successful company with many people and market leading and so forth. The last couple of years I have had more free time and this is maybe the first time in my life when I ended up having lots of free time because the previous jobs I have held usually were related to so much traveling that every now and then you wake up in a hotel somewhere and you don't remember which country you're in or you go to the airport, you take a look at the departures board and you cannot remember which flight you're supposed to board. So the last few years have been pretty hectic and nowadays actually I have quite a lot of free time. What I'm doing lately is uh, mostly related to reading. I decided to catch up on all those books that I wanted to read over the last few years and never had the time to. I also started running and exercising a bit, but I guess nothing too interesting. So I'm just trying to enjoy the time I have and to maximize what I can do in the free time that I have. <laughs>